Hello everybody. In this video, we will learn how we can create 2D level or 2D environment. So in last video, we have learned that how we can create our player models and I have created these four models and I just scaled these models accordingly and uh, almost the same scale um, of these characters, height and width and also we have uh, one gun uh, which is in uh, front of these characters and they can shoot their gun as well and uh, they are structured in a player reboot uh, game object robot and uh, these are also structured and we can select any part and we can make changes in that part as well so for this character I will select this uh, leg and I will make it 6 uh, because it's uh, uh, in front of gun so we can make it 6 now it's fine and before doing this we should select character and open prefab and actually then we will make it uh, 6 okay otherwise it will not be implemented so now uh, the second step uh, before creating animations for our character we will create a level for our game okay so for level creation we already have some sprites uh, you can see I have uh, um, this uh, asset where we have a lot of uh, uh, sprites like this like this and we can uh, create our game environment by using these objects uh, definitely you can google and uh, you can get some more uh, designs um, uh, images for the level design and then you can connect that uh, surprise to create your level or you can create your level in photoshop by yourself as well so here we have these parts and these are simple sprites or images we will make uh, these images connect and we will add certain colliders and then we can design level and purpose of designing level before uh, creating animations is that we need to scale it accordingly so our character should uh, uh, should be in a good view uh, in a good scale so before adding animation i want the perfect scale for our characters uh, so now you can see uh, we can open this but before that we will create a scene so file S uh, we can just uh, save this scene as well or we can create a new scene as well okay so in scenes folder i will just create a new scene and we will name it scene one maybe or level one whatever you want and I will make it name scene 1 okay like this now we can open the scene and this is the blank scene with the camera uh, definitely we need our character here so for adding uh, sorry environment here we will design our environment here so for that we will go to our sprites and uh, here you can see we have this uh, image for backgrounds okay so I will just add this green image and we will use this green image uh, for background and you can see it's a quite big image if you go to s game view you can see uh, this is a background okay and that's actually good uh, I will just uh, add it here and uh, we can make it smaller as well or bigger as well according to our need but here you can see we have a background so for every uh, sprite we need order and layer as well okay so for the background I will make its layer minus uh, 3 maybe okay so it will be uh, in the back minus 3 so now we can create a game object here and for organizing purpose and we can name it background okay and inside this we will add this background now definitely this background will be the default background for uh, next uh, places so we will just duplicate it 
control D and we can duplicate it like this control D and we can move these backgrounds so if you need a bigger level you can create uh, the bigger level as well and if you need a smaller level you can create smaller level and it's up to you uh, that where you want to end your level so now background is added and now the main thing is ground so we will create a ground for that purpose I will just create a empty object and we will name it ground and for ground uh, we have these uh, sprites for the ground I think uh, uh, ground platform that are actually these these are the sprites so if we drag drop this sprite inside our game you can see a nice platform here and uh, uh, but for this platform you can see we don't have any collider so if we place our player here uh, it will fall down okay so for every platform we need collider as well so before uh, creating collider I will just resize it so let's uh, select the scale tool and we can just uh, make it resize a little bit and we can analyze it in game view and I think uh, I think uh, we need a little bit more smaller platform like this okay and uh, this is fine I think so now we can just place it uh, from where we want to begin our game and definitely after that we will add a collider on this platform also for platform you sl should select a layer so I will select a layer 1 for the platform okay positive one so that's nice we can duplicate this platform before that we will add a collider so we can add component and now we have uh, a box colliders we we have other type of colliders as well if we search you can see we have box collider we have capsule collider we have edge collider but for this purpose we will add box collider it will be best fit for this object now you can see that we have this collider we can edit this collider by clicking here and then we can drag these nodes like this okay and wherever you want your player to move you can adjust that top uh, uh, section and we will just make it smaller so like this okay so now this is a perfect slider and actually I will make it a little bit smaller okay so now uh, after adjusting it we we can also see the right side and here you can see we have scale of 0.43 I will make it 0.4 so it will be a round figure and we will add other component scale similar to this scale as well okay so now we can just duplicate this platform as well but uh, before that we have certain more type of platforms so we can add these platforms as well and here you can see we can connect these platforms as well but this uh, connection is similar to this uh, platform so i will not connect these and uh, although we will use the smaller platforms as well okay and for the smaller platforms definitely we will make size 2.4 and 0 0.4 0 0.4 just for the consistency purpose so 0 0.4 0 0.4 I think 2.4 is not good 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and for this we will add the 0 0.5 0 0.5 0.5 okay and for the main platform we will add 0 0.5 0.5 and 0.5 so now I think it's a better choice uh, after that we will select this platform and uh, here we will also add box collider 2d and then we will adjust its collision so let's uh, I will check this one and you can see uh, yeah at this place so for this I think 
this is the right place so then we will just create our colliders like this and yeah and then we will select this one we will add box collider 2d we will edit the collider and we will make it like this okay so very easy so now you can see we have objects ready for our scene creation so i will just uh, select the this ground and uh, i will start creating our a level so it's very easy i will just uh, duplicate it it already have collider now and we can connect it like this and our player should jump for this and we can add platform like this and this one as well so uh, here if we select both you can see a difference so i will select it and like this so it's up to you uh, that how you design your own levels and it's totally your choice so it's up to you so now we can add this one here and control d and we can just make it uh, like this maybe and this platform we will duplicate it okay control d duplicate and then we will just make it control d duplicate so i think here it is fine control d control d and control d duplicate so like this control d i'm not uh, making too much fluctuations for bottom and uh, uh, up so because uh, when a player will move uh, the camera will follow the player okay so i don't want too much uh, space here so if it will be a uh, blank then we will get some uh, bad impact so i think that's it the small level is fine actually so this is the last uh, platform so yeah that's fine so now we can delete this background image and this is our level okay and for the yeah that's fine actually and now uh, the platform is created we j can just select everything and we will add it in ground object okay so now both are organized in their own game objects i will create one another game object we will name it environment mint and then we will just select both of these and we will add it in environment okay so yeah that's good size i think now uh okay so moving further uh, we will add some more objects for um interaction so i will just add these uh, objects to start creating our level and for every object we will make the size 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and with these objects we don't uh, need colliders okay so i will just uh, add these objects uh, for this scene and then we will resume the video okay so i have just added some more objects to our scene and uh, now you can see that we have uh, this level and uh, everything looks nice and you can see uh, that's fine so you have learned the process of creating the level and also i want to add one more image uh, for the end of this level here uh, we should have some box type type image i think so here if we find some image 
then we can add so unfortunately we don't have any nice uh, sprite for level completion uh, like box or any other thing so I will just collect that thing uh, that asset from uh, Google and let's uh, search Google for a box and that is for example uh, what is its name jewelry box maybe jewelry uh, box uh, not actually so anyhow we will do that later no problem so that's it for this video uh, we have successfully created our level in next video we will add our player and we will work with player movements